G'day guys, it's Fish, the Beach Bum Investor, here with your cryptocurrency report and discussion for the 5th of November 2017 in Australia. Uh, today we're joined by a couple of special guests from the Crypto Wage Fish, Investor. Fish, the Beach Bum Investor, here oh, with your no. cryptocurrency See report how bad I am with this? For the 5th of November. <laughs> Kong Savage Ruthless is in first. Uh, hey Joe, how are you? Yeah, so we've got a couple of special guests in today from the Crypto Wave Investment Crew. We've got one of our regulars, Agent Smith, one of the one of the regular punching bags of mine, and <laughs> one of the relatively new members to the uh, Crypto Wave Investment Crew, Floyd, who's uh, from uh, Northwest UK, if I've got that right. Um, so welcome to you both, Agent Smith. Firstly, to you, welcome to the show, man. Well, thank you for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure as always. We'll be looking forward to your shilling ripple the whole time. And um, Floyd, <laughs> mate, uh, you're a bit of a newbie here, so do you want to tell us a little bit about uh, how you found, I guess, Bitcoin or what the first crypto you found in the economy? I guess your venture, how you got into the crypto economy, mate. Do you want to tell us that story? Uh, well, I heard about Bitcoin years back. Um, decided uh, a change of life. Started looking into trading Forex, uh, came across a lot of Bitcoin while I was, you know, looking around YouTube for the videos to learn and, and all the rest, uh, and decided that Bitcoin was more for me. And during searching the videos, found this lot. Funnily enough, that's exactly the same path I took. I was actually trading mainly currencies. I did do a bit of commodities and shares as well. But I was I was on the forex trade myself, um, and BTC started showing up on the trade books, and I was like, okay. Uh, mate mentioned it in the surf, and the rest is history. So, what what when did oh, you start getting into it, Floyd? Um, to be honest, uh, last couple of months is when I've you know what I mean been looking more at crypto. Um, I've only actually been you know looking at the whole thing for the last I don't know four months probably. Yeah, yeah, similar time frame to me. I've probably been in about, oh, probably about six months now, but I mean, a month in crypto is a year in, in Forex trading, that's for sure. Um, it helps if you know your way around the computer. Yeah, for which sure. Which I don't. <laughs> no, neither do I. That's where I really fall behind. I think that a lot of people are going to be looking to dump into several altcoins perhaps after the fork and... I couldn't. I couldn't possibly tr dream of doing that quick enough. The the pump after the last snapshot happened so quickly that you would have had to be in very quick computers to or have some program set up to get, you know, into ten alts at a time. So, yeah, um, I've I've set up pre pump, and that's what we're going to talk a little bit about today. Is the altcoins that some of the crypto wave investment crew are looking at. Um, as you know, we don't all invest in the same. Uh, coin that's a different strategy that we take to most investment crews. We're really more of a investment discussion group So we don't jump in on the same coin So even the three of us talking here today and if anyone else chooses to join in during the show We won't all agree on the same coin. So it's give, hopefully give you a um, a good uh, a Good um, cross-section of what what is out there um, crypto chronicus is in It's ten days before the fork, don't you think there might be more volume? Yeah, I, I, I think there certainly could be, Joe. What do you guys think? More volume before the fork? Agent Smith, did you want to have a comment? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I had my mic muted. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah, I mean, I, I honestly, I think I, it's going to keep going down for the next couple of days. So Bitcoin I'm not really sure what to do. Bitcoin itself, or do you think there'll be a move into into the alts because of that, or do you uh, think the whole market might retrace over the next few days? I think the Bitcoin will continue to go up um, for a little bit more, and then uh, the altcoins. I think they will go down as a whole. Mm. But uh, we can see that see there on your charts. I don't know. Bitcoin did cap in the last few hours at 7,500. It seems like a nice round figure for it to cap out, and it was kind of the predictions that a lot of the analysts were making pre-fork. So, what do you think? Is that is that our cap pre-fork? Uh, I think it's going to keep going up, man. It's it's seen a lot of support. Um, I think like right around here um, from seventy-two to seventy-three. So if if it retraces down to that and then finds support again, I think we could see uh, another move up. For a couple of days, something similar to 
these run-ups here. But uh, I, I honestly don't know, man. Uh, I, I, I expect it to keep going up till a day before the fort, and uh, I think all the smart money will be pumping the altcoins just like last time. Um, but uh, I, I, that's what I'm. It's all about time in the market, right? But you know, as long as you get you get in within you know a couple hundred dollars, you're doing all right, I think. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, Floyd, what are your thoughts? Do you think we're going to see more action before the fork? Or do you think people are going to be happy with their profits in the last couple of weeks on the big one? Um, to be honest, I have noticed some of the uh, the alts that haven't been moving. I started to, you know, well, yeah. wake up. Um, yeah, but as far as the gold, it, it does. Look, uh, Bitcoin does look like it's going to carry on. How far? Anybody's guessing it? Yeah, look, and I just want to refer to a comment that one of our um, crypto wave investment crew, Joe, um, he's you know pretty knowledgeable on this stuff, and he thinks that it's actually he thinks the alts are in for some tough times. He said they could could crash even harder from here. So there's certainly varying opinions around about where the the bottom of the altcoin market is. Me personally, I I, I think both could be right. Yeah, we could go down, but I think. The brilliant part about being a long-term investor is in 12 months, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be right on most of my picks. So for me, I'm happy to take sort of what we call in Australia two bob each way, two bucks each way. I'm happy to say, well, I'll, I'll take some now and I'll keep some reserves in case it really crashes hard and then I'll stack in some more. So that's that's kind of the um, strategy I'm playing with the altcoin market. But um, Bitcoin itself, I, I, just, I just don't know. I've, see, for me, I... Again, it's about the speed of me being able to do what I need to do. And I, I do think there'll be, I think there's going to be a little bit of retracement in Bitcoin after the fork because people are factoring in quite a high price for B2X. And um, realistically, that price has to come out of Bitcoin if people are already factoring that in. That's how it should work. It didn't last time, so it might not this time, but uh, we'll see what happens. So it's, it's going to be an interesting interesting few days for sure um, so I'm just trying to keep up on the uh, chat at the same time how are you going crypto psycho good to see oh crypto psycho sorry Dane's in uh, I can't wait to, to boost up Tuesday with alts um, and steam is at 91 cents which I see really good buying long term um, perhaps a lot of steamians cashed in to get their extra old coins during the forks for Bitcoin and I plan to buy up their Steam for their voting power and their their uh, curation power over at the Steam platform. Are either you guys on the Steam platform? Agent Smith, you are, aren't you? Yeah, I, I posted one thing. I, I wish I could post it on there more. I just don't have time to write up stuff. Uh, but, yeah, it's a really cool platform. Uh, it's a good way to learn about things. Um, crypto, or not crypto, okay. Um, Johnny in our group. Yep, Johnny Crypto, uh, Jow, he's he, uh, got has a lot of great posts over there. Actually. I learn a lot from just reading his stuff. Uh, he keeps up to date a lot on there. Um, of course, you post on there a lot, so I think there's a lot of good, uh, a lot of good commentary on on a uh, Steamit platform. Yeah, for sure. Floyd, you on there? So I am. Are you on Steemit, mate? Have you had a look at Steemit, the social media platform? The only time I've been on, to be honest, is reading what's been posted up in, in group. Like I say, I mean, I've found it that useful, you know what I mean? The information I've got from you lot and this group, it, it, you know? So I've just floated in and out reading what's been posted. I don't do anything on there, if you will. Yeah, sure. Well, I'm the same on pretty much every social media platform. I don't, don't go on Facebook much or anything like that. But I have found Steemit. Uh, to be an actual pretty productive and positive space. So I quite like it. It's, uh, it's bringing a new, a new feeling to social media for me, so I, I quite enjoy it. Um, and I do think it's cheap long-term at those prices. That's, that's certainly one that I think long-term will do, do quite well. Um, just having a look there, you've got Salt Up Agent Smith. Is that the one, one of the ones you're liking? Uh, yeah, I've been looking at it a little bit um, as a potential for uh, running up after the fork, but I'm not really sure about it, man. I don't, it's so new. 
Very speculative yeah. that one. I, I've taken that approach with it, Barney. I'll tell you. I'll tell you my position in it. I currently hold five salt coins. Nice. Yes, massive investment, and again, yeah. adding to a extending portfolio that I'm trying to actually consolidate. <laughs> so, but you know what? I'm a surfer and salt. <laughs> no, I, that's not the reason I bought it. I do think it's got potential. They're looking at being the first to actually release a crypto credit card. I, that's a rumor. I can't confirm that. But um, it's interesting anyway, lending platform. Um, you know, for me, $10 is, is not a huge, or well, $14, call it. I think I bought it at around 280 or 250 um, So that's not a huge amount of money for me to just be in the game just in case. I heard a lot of chatter about it. Um, what, what in particular do you, do you like about it or dislike about it, Agent Smith? Um, I, just, I, I just like the whole lending thing. Um, I think, you know, anything to do with finance, whether it be banking, uh, lending, cards, you know, transactions, anything to do with money is going to bring in money. And that's, that's kind of the way I look at it. So that, that's why you see me uh, interested in stuff like XRP and you know, anything to do with banking. Uh, I've been looking at Chainlink, um, you know, a couple other things, but anything to do with financial sector, I'm, I'm interested in because those are the guys that know how to make money and <laughs> they know how to make money uh, on large amounts of scale, you know, compared to pretty much anything else. So, uh, but and then, you know, that's pretty much the reason whenever it comes down to it, there's nothing really too special about salt. That's just, you know, making me go crazy about it, but anything to do with the financial sector I'm interested in. Yeah, I mean, they, I mean, that's essentially how the, the banks and the wealthy have got their money is by controlling the, the, the money flow, if you like, the money supply. Um, so, yeah, they, they're very good at it. <laughs> um, salt seems to be an interesting. I haven't had a really thorough look at it, which is why I've only picked up five coins. You know me, man, I won't pull the trigger big unless I'm sifting through that white paper and really looking into it. So I, I look, I picked up five coins. I think I might have taken a little bit of a run down on that, but I'll just, I don't even have sell orders, so I'll just hold on to them and see what happens. So yeah, that's an interesting one. Floyd, have you had a look at salt at all? I haven't, no, I haven't been anywhere near anything like that. Yeah, I'm still, uh, I'm still watching. All right, well, let's uh, let's ask. Floyd, do, do you have any favorites at the moment that you're taking a look at that you think you've got? Gotten too cheap before the uh, before the fork, and you think it might be up for some good times. Well, Piv Pivx ain't doing much. <laughs> oh, I, um, I can't. To be honest, I, I have a few, but not many. Um, and to be honest, I'm I'm just going to sit wait till after the fork. You know what I mean? Because being new to all this, it, it's still it's all I'm in a little bit too quick at the minute. Yeah, so I'm just That's watching great. and see what's going on, what's going up, what's going down, what isn't doing anything. That's great advice for anyone who's getting in. Is you know, educate yourself and and take an take a bit of an observer's perspective and and see how the market reacts to different sorts of news, and that's going to give you you know set you up well for your trading in the future. So I think that's a really really smart uh, option that you're taking, and, and good advice for anyone who is new onto the chat. Um, Cryptics, Marco, I've got a couple awesome. that I think, uh, you know, that I don't know how long in future, but I think they'll be something. Um, the Dubai one, for starters, that's, uh, you know, what is it now? It's around 10, just over $10, or is it around 11 Um But I think that's going places. Yeah, Dubai, Dubai coin's interesting. I've been tra I've been trading with a little bit of it. I got some good sales last time. It ran up to twelve dollars, and then I bought it back around the ten dollar mark. So I've already had a good little gain there on the trade. But I, I I don't mind holding it either because if there are if there are programmers out there wanting to develop a coin and they're only familiar or they're only proficient in Arabic programming languages, this has potentially got the you know, it's got the potential for them to actually build their own blockchains or their own yeah. programs on top of the to buy coin. That's essentially what I'm reading as its value proposition. People are dubbing it. Yeah, to start, yeah I'm just looking more at the big picture, if, you know what I mean, until uh, I get more into the, the trading side of it. That it's all, I'm looking more big picture at the minute for what I'm sat on. Yeah, well, to buy, see, I've taken a run down now, even with that buy and the sell, I'd be down a little bit overall. 
which is um, to buy points dropped to nine dollars thirty eight in this morning's trade. I think you know, long term, it's it's one of those. It's it's a like market cap. I don't have a whole lot of them that I I put a stack into. Yeah. I think I hold six to buy coins. I didn't go heavy on this. I put 50, 60 bucks into it. I like it as a a, a long term gamble. I mean, it's early stages, but if they get it right and they are the Arabic Ethereum, if you like, that, that that's kind of well. Everything looks good up to now. Everything you know what I mean. That they've they've been on we the. And the, what they've got in store, it, you know, it does look like it's going places. Yeah, well, it's a, um, it's a, you know, it's an early stages thing. It is quite a small team, but I was discussing it with someone this morning, and I said, you know, a small team is not necessarily a bad thing because it's easier to, no. to get the di direction or, or moving in the same direction to start with, which is really important. It's so a lost in translation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that you know, I think it's certainly got potential. I'm just going to bring up um, Agent Smith's screen here because he's, he's just having a look at it on his um because he's got more tech skills than me so yeah it's um i think the website is oh there it is it's www.arabianchain.org and i think it's a low market cap coin this one's got potential as i said i'm not hugely staked into it i've got i think six and six point six after my little trade in and out um so yeah I'm, i mean i gotta say i say we were looking long term on this well myself like um i actually want to get more for the simple reason it's like we were on about the other day they're running out of oil they need somewhere to put the money now they've been building dubai up for the last you know however many years because they want to move into tourism Mate, I, saw, I, saw a document, get the money from. I saw a documentary about um dubai moving heavily into tourism i i gotta say it must have been close to a decade ago so there's certainly have been aware of the need oh, yeah. to move away from oil dependence for quite a long time. Yeah. Well, that's why they're building. They've built tourism, basically, and they know that in the future, that's where the money's going to come from. But they all want somewhere to put the money. Yeah. You know? Yeah, well, you can see there, Agent Smith has got, you've seen it's taken a pump in early days, and it's not unusual to see retracement after a pump like that. It got up to our $18 US mark. And it's not, a, it's so, I mean, if you do think it's going back to historical highs and, you know, a $25 million, $30 million overall market cap, you can probably see this as half price buying at the moment. There you go, 1975. It, it didn't plummet, did it? So? I say it no, didn't no. plummet after that first pump. It, it didn't. It's actually hit pretty good. Bottom. Yeah, it's, no, it's. It's, it's, up there. it's doing real good. And, and the thing is, is that it's. Um, you know, it's early days, and, and when you've got such a low market cap, you are going to see huge volatility. Agent Smith, have you had a look at the buy coin at all, mate? Uh, no, I haven't looked at it at all, but, you know, this he, he made a good point. It's it's looking good. It's about at a 50% retracement after a huge run-up. It didn't instantly drop down, uh, so it kind of wedged out sideways a little bit. Um, that's a pretty good, that's pretty good price action because, you know, Everyone knows that this isn't sustainable. You know that it, you know anyone could see this and know that that's unrealistic. But so the overall trend, it. yeah, <laughs> the overall trend is up, and uh, it, it didn't tank right afterwards. It did go down pretty low right here, but that's not much lower than what it is right now. So it it's looking good for price action, but I don't know anything about it. So yeah, I've no, just seen that it's yeah. had those crazy run ups recently. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's been a volatile coin, but you see that a lot in the low market cap coins because a lot of people are just trading it. They don't know anything about it. Um, they've heard a rumor, they've jumped in, and you know it, it gets super volatile when your market caps are under the hundred million dollar mark, and even above that, it's volatile. So it's just exacerbated in those really small market cap coins. But you know, I think that's got two x potential for sure. I think it could get back to those highs. So. That's why I grabbed it when it sits down. Um, I've only got a small amount, but hey, if it doubles and I make 60 bucks, I'm pretty happy. 60 you didn't have before. Sorry? I say that's 60 you didn't have before. That's exactly right. Exactly right. I always say to people, you know, if you're trading to a win, you're, you're trading well. So um, let's have a look at... What was one I wanted to have a look at? How do I take off Agent Smith to Brent present it? Oh, stop presenting. There we go. Yeah, Agent Smith, stop presenting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> cheeky little joke there. Um, 
AJ Smith, what do you want to have a look at? Pick one out. What's one of your favourites during this retracement? Uh, KMD for sure. I knew you were going to go there. I, I thought pay them on that. Nah, he's going to go KMD. All right, let's have a look. Yeah. You got the. I'll, I'll bring up your charts again, and we can have a chat about KMD. Obviously, the we've banged on about the you know the strategic alliance with Monet's. Um, I think it's going to be a pretty big, pretty big few months, and perhaps first quarter of 2018 for the Komodo Monet's Alliance. Pretty good buying still, I think, at this price. What are your thoughts? Yeah, it's a good, it's a good buy right now. It's pretty cheap. Are you planning on? Get, are you planning on getting Monet's? Because we get it. Like, if you're planning on getting Monet's at ICA, you do get a 30% discount if you're using Komodo. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get in because, you know, it kind of goes back to what I was saying earlier, the whole financial thing. It's, uh, you know, it could be a good solution for uh, the markets that it's looking at. Um, I'm going to at least try. It will be my first ICO, um, which is going to be the first DICO um, to market. So I think that's going to kind of create a little buzz just in itself. Yeah, I think so I it should do it. Yeah, decentralized ICO, exactly. Just to um, elaborate on what Agent Smith was saying with DICO there. So it is the first decentralized ICO in history. I think that's brilliant. And I think that, um, you know, I've, I've talked about it before, Agent Smith, but I think they've set up so well in Europe. They've got the European licenses already in, in those separate countries with um, Monet. So they're ready to go, mate. They're locked and loaded, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, uh, Komodo's going to be coming on the scene pretty hard I think uh, their marketing has been super low-key there I think they're super undervalued compared to I mean just any other platform coin out there you know it, it's basically it's the same as Neo is the same as ethereum it's the same as any of those you know multi-layer type cryptocurrencies and uh, Komodo is going to be big there's no doubt in my mind um, it's it's got a lot of great tech behind it they're really serious about uh, everything that they do. So uh, it's just, just it hasn't been marketed. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't been marketed at all, um, which I think has resulted in its undervalued price. But that's completely fine with me. I'll keep stacking it until it decides to go. Yeah, cool. I've been I've been accumulating as well. Floyd, what are your thoughts? Have you had a look at Komodo? Uh, I haven't looked at it. I've heard a lot. That's um, always a good it, sign. Well, the water it is something <laughs> that I uh, I will be looking at. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a good one. And I, Agent Smith, are you aware, mate? I'm sure you, you probably are. But did you know that when you hold Monet's, you're going to get Komodo is essentially the gas of Monet's. You're going to get paid out yeah. to Komodo. Yeah, See, this yeah. is the stuff I've got to get my head around yet. All these little off branches of, you know, well, like what you were just talking about then. Yeah, I think, it, it. I think it's important. <laughs> like it's a, it's good to understand, uh, Floyd, where you're actually going to make residual income, like dividends from the share market, man. So when a lot of people just accumulate dividends from the share market and just keep them in the shares, and the share price goes up, they get more dividends each year and the, the overall value accumulates really, really nicely. And I think those, those uh, coins that offer the residual income are um, becoming quite popular, and I think they're going to do well in 2018. So is this look about a bit like a, an ongoing ICO, if you will? As it's in, not, they keep paying in, as it, you know what I mean, you're buying to... There's a couple of others doing it as well, isn't there? They've brought their own coin out to pay for stuff in their own sites, if you will. Yeah, it's, it's basically to pay for the transaction fees is the best way I can explain it. Agent Smith, please correct me if I'm wrong, but... For example, gas for Neo is is the I guess what's paid the transaction fee, if you like, and, and for Ethereum, sorry. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, and so if you're holding Neo, you'd actually earn gas as well. Um, so that's that's one form of residual income, if you like. So if you're holding Monet, you're going to be earning Komodo as the as the residual dividend, um, and then you've got proof of stake models like oh I don't know, let's. Oh, pick a random coin, let's say. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, mate, what they allow you to do is get, um, obviously, you'd be aware of this, but earn residual income through through staking. Um, so a lot of coins will just go for Masternode. 
uh, PIVX actually has both. Good PIVX plug in there. By the way, the Binance vote is on and PIVX is in second place. We need 600 votes in the next 12 or so hours. So anyone watching this stream, I have a Binance link in the description. Please <coughs> follow that link so that Agent Smith gets none of the commission. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding around. We all share the wealth anyway. So please follow that link though and give Pivx a vote if you can't afford a Binance coin. Um, look, if you if you desperately need the Binance coin, contact me over on our Discord group and I'll, I'll pop it through to you. I don't really want to pay for votes, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm working on something pretty big there, by the way, guys. I've got a friend of a friend who might be helping us out with that. Little inside tip if we can get it to work. We've only just started trying to co contact him, but he's got 200,000 Twitter followers. So we're going to see if he can send <coughs> out a tweet for us asking his followers to vote for the <laughs> vote for the PIVX uh, to be added to the Binance exchange. Maybe you should send him a coin for his vote. Oh, no. He's got enough <laughs> coins. He doesn't need mine. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to look at it's having a look at here. What do you got on the screens there? Oh, wow, well, look at that, PIVX. That looks amazing. So, yeah, guys, as you can see from our historic highs of around, what, $4.80? If you can find it somewhere, Agent Smith. Well, it is. It's over 4 bucks anyway. We know that. I think it got as high as $4.80 on one of the biggest run-ups. That might have just been on one exchange, though. Not that we're listed on a whole lot at the moment, but as you can see at $4.17, current price at $2.86. We have come back pretty hard from those $2.50 lows. I think we got down to as, as low as $2.50. Um, yeah, I think good good long-term project. I know the community's strong over there, 9,000 Slack members and growing. Um, it's a consistent top 50 coin. It is a proof of stake coin. First proof of stake coin to have zero coin protocol implemented, which did cause us some teething issues, but we're past that now. My well, it's up and running, staking away. Um, so yeah, for anyone interested, we are up to. Thank you for showing that because we are up to the Pivx Core Wallet 3.0.4 final release, and it is a mandatory upgrade. So it's very important that you get in there and upgrade to that wallet, or you'll be on the wrong chain. So thank you for showing us um, for showing us that agent. Um, what else do we want to have a look at, guys? What else is in your your top picks? I think Ark. Can we have a quick look at Ark? Because I think ARK was really cheap and I saw, one thing I saw on Bitrex this morning is there really wasn't a lot of, there really wasn't a lot in terms of um, sell orders. I don't know if that's still the case, Agent Smith. Can you just scroll down a little bit, man, and have a look at those asks? Because you can see there, there's not really any big orders. There's, where, there's no big walls anywhere. I'm just having a look. But if you scroll through, there's like, you have to say, a thousand coins is a reasonable order, but it's not huge. We haven't seen one over a thousand yet. So, you know, it's a pretty empty sell board, oh, yeah. which leads, yeah. That's look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. This look is at, begging for look at where that wall actually builds up. It's at like what three X from where it is now. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I think that ARC has some serious potential, man. I've said that for a long time. I think it's uh it's you know an exciting project that looks to be the blockchain for all blockchains. I think it's ambitious, but if they achieve it, um, you know, a 200, what was, what's the valuation at the moment? What's the total market cap? Um, it's, it's laughable if they achieve what they're setting out to achieve. Uh, total market cap being 230 million. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a billion dollar project at least if they are able to achieve what they set out to achieve. That's my personal opinion. So yeah, I think ARC's one of the, um, Really good buys at the moment in in the sort of the crypto bloodbath that we're seeing. Is Agent Smith a programmer? This is an interesting question. Agent, <laughs> do you want to answer? No, no, I'm not a programmer. Not a programmer. That's what all Russians <laughs> guys say. Um, I'm just reading okay. Brendan. Uh, sorry, Keo, Keoff. Keoff's comment. Brendan Keoff. Five hundred ton free on Binance if new and verified with a minimum balance of 0 0.003 BTC in one trade. There you go, that's cool. Enjoyed you and Rocky show off to, oh, yeah. Rocky show, good, uh, off to sleep, good night, yeah, cool. Yeah, you forgot about the chat, Agent Smith, come on, man. <laughs> so, told you, I've got, a, I've got a bad arm for those interested in in this, I can't move my wrist properly and I've got the biggest surfing competition of the year in five days. So I could be paddling out with one arm in six foot surf and I'm not making excuses. 
That's just the truth. Yeah, so Ark's one that I really liked. Um, Ark's one I that thought I really you used liked. your feet to surf. So here you go again. I say I thought you used your feet to surf. Oh, I'm a bodyboarder, mate. So I use my I use right, yeah. arms. <laughs> See, that's the skill of drop knee bodyboarding. For those of you who don't know, um, forget. Perhaps we can get Agent Smith to bring up my world championship performance on. No, don't do that because I. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to watch that. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, let's have a look. What else? What else do you guys like at the moment while while it's low? Oh, um, cryptic. Actually, cryptic psychos just asked. Can we have a look at EOS? Agent Smith, did you want to bring that up, man? Yeah, I got you. Cool. Let's see. Yeah, cool. It's had a bit of a pump recently. We knew that because it was one of the few that were was really resistant when the altcoin market bled. Uh, EOS was on a forty percent pump, so it's certainly done well. And um, what's its historic highs? It sort of, it was early days, it was well over that, wasn't it? Oh, goodness, yeah. This will run up, yeah, 476. I mean, that was that was obviously just craziness. I don't know how much volume would have been traded at that 476 mark. Um, I can't imagine it would have been a huge amount. EOS myself, the only thing that kept me away from it was the, the year-long ICO strategy where it just felt like they could essentially be, uh, it's hard to explain, but cycling money through the ICO phase, uh, through the ICO CO process to steadily increase the price with the same money, if you, if you know what I'm getting at. Um, so, I mean, I'm not saying they're doing that. It was just something that would rang a little alarm bell for me, but I, I mean, geez, I stayed away from it. I wish I had got into it. Either of you guys into it at all, EOS? Uh, no, I'm a little bit about it, but I don't really know anything about it. I've just heard people talking. Isn't it supposed to be like an Ethereum replacement or something like that? I, I, that's what I've heard in passing. Yeah, I, I really didn't look heavily into it. It's probably one we're going to have to cover soon on the show because there were a lot of people in our group talking about it before it went up 40%. And I kind of said, look, I don't really want to look into it. I've got other things I'd prefer to look into. So that's my bad, but as always, make your own decisions. So. <laughs> Hopefully, people went and did their own research and, and um, got a bit of a win on that in their investment crew. I didn't hear too many people saying, yes, EOS. Did you hear anyone in the crew saying that, Agent Smith? Uh, not that I know of. I've just seen a lot of people talking about it just in, like, YouTube live chats and stuff like that. A lot of people have been talking about it, which is always a good sign. Um, uh, but I, I haven't looked into the tech. I haven't looked into the team or anything like that. So I can't really make a comment on it. But it's got some cool graphic design. <laughs> Always <laughs> what a it's worth. Uh, Always a plus. I, mean, I, I like um, this little symbol. So I go ahead. Uh, I like this little symbol here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's it looks good. Um, there's a couple of Tondi's dropped into the chat. Jordan, he's uh, in and out every now and again. How are you, Jordy? Good to see you too, man. Um, oh, um, crypto, oh, sorry, Cryptic Psycho said, Dollar Vigilante interviewed Dan from EOS, and it's an amazing interview. Oh, Hourglass, don't be cheeky. Guess what Hourglass has said? Have one guess, Agent Smith. <laughs> Neo. <laughs> All right. So Neo obviously originally dubbed the Chinese Ethereum. Um, Obviously, taken some massive, massive hits from its historical highs, where it ran right up to what was it, fifty bucks or something? It was high. Got up to fifty bucks, I'm sure of it. Something around there, fifty even sixty maybe. Um, so yeah, it was a lot of hype surrounding it. I mean, I started buying it as low as a dollar thirty, and I wish I hadn't have sold it all at ten bucks. But that's well, the case. actually looking pretty, like a pretty good buy right now. Yeah, I mean, it's lining up with those pre-parabolic levels almost. You know, it's getting down to that that pre-parabolic uh, stage. So that usually indicates good buying. It's half price from its historic highs. If you think Neo is a good long-term project, it's it's probably great time to be buying, um, you know, long-term. As we know, the flash crashes can happen. This could You could get this for $17 like Wilkie did not that long ago. Um, it, does, it does happen. So you've got to make your own decisions. But I think long-term it's a, a solid project, especially with the news coming out that it was um, invited to the trusted blockchain meeting in China. That, that's 
That's a good yeah. ticket. Yeah, that's a good sign for you know all the craziness that's going on over there. Uh, I'm really surprised it didn't find support right around this area. Just looking at this right here. Yeah, it's probably because I said, it's probably because I said just hold off for a second, and I have that sort of effect on a billion dollar market. Right? So. <laughs> but uh, you know, then again, Bitcoin's been taking a ridiculous run up right in this period. So it's a really good. For, point that Agent Smith makes, we're looking, because I know we've got a lot of newbies, we're looking at two different sets of charts. Now, this one we're looking at now is relative to BTC, not to US dollar. So when you see a down on this, it doesn't necessarily represent huge losses in dollar values because, as we know, in that same period, Bitcoin is hitting all-time highs. So this is the relative chart. If you have a look at the, it'd be the green line on that one. Is that right, Agent Smith? Yeah. The green line yeah, is the the actual US dollar value. So if you look at that as your chart, that actually looks nice because you look at those bottoms that are rising all the time, every every big dip, and you're going to see volatility, we know that, but the dips seem to be getting low. Uh, sorry, the dips seem to be getting higher. So it's getting bought up at a higher price. So it means it's being seen as cheaper at a higher price. Now, whether that's a mental thing or whether that's appropriate to its valuation, you have to decide. But uh, it certainly seems around the $25 mark to be finding some pretty good support. It's jumped back up there to 26.19. So, yeah, what are, what are your thoughts on it, Agent Smith, Floyd, whoever wants to have a chat? It's something I've been watching. Um, it's something I have got my eye on. Um, I was just going to say then about what you were on about with the this is against, you know, the dollar or Bitcoin. That's something that I have come a lot across a lot as a noob. A lot of people don't tell you that. They're just telling you that alts are taking a kicking. But when you actually look at a lot of them against, you know, the dollar, euro, some of them aren't doing too bad. It's against the Bitcoin, but that's to be expected while Bitcoin's doing silly things. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, there's uh, with that much money flowing in through Bitcoin. There's a lot of talk that it will actually flow into the old coins and the old coins will perhaps benefit. Joe is a pretty experienced in the crypto economy. He can see it going the other way. Agent Smith, I know you like to stir up Ripple. Uh, sorry, not Ripple. I, I know you like to stir up <laughs> new investors, so I don't even know if I should ask your comments on this. Go on. All right. So if you guys pay attention to the blue line here, you might see a little weird trend. It goes from this to that in one day. That's because they just released more coins into circulation. And um, according to price, it's held pretty steady after that, which means that the coins that they release, I'm guessing to the founders or whatever, I, I have no idea because I don't look into this stuff, but they aren't being sold. So... That's a good sign, I guess. You know, if it's holding steady with more coins being held, you know, sent into the market, that's a good sign for Neo. Uh, it's showing strength right here. If you look at the U.S. dollar value, it's holding strong right here. Um, yeah, it certainly is throughout all this craziness. So, I, as much as I would like to say, sell, sell, sell right here, but you, I mean, it's doing great, and I can't, I can't really talk smack about it right now. So. A lot of people like Neo, and having a community that's behind you, as hard as the Neo community is, uh, is a great thing. So, you know, especially when you're going through crazy regulations and mixed uh, mixed signals from your government, you know, it's uh, it's a it's great to see the support for Neo. Um, it really speaks to the cryptocurrency market as a whole. Uh, seeing Neo do this well with all the China FUD and everything. You know, it's it's uh, it's pretty remarkable. So uh, I think he has a great hold. Uh, as much as I like to talk crap about it. Is that a, is that a train <laughs> past your house? Come in. <laughs> That's, That's some doorbell lot. What are you thinking, Floyd? So you ha have you got any investment? Oh no, you don't have anything in yet. You're just taking a look. So. I mean, Wilkie, the big bloody whale, he loves Neo. He just is the biggest Neo fan. And like Agent Smith said, you know, having that community behind you is really, really important to have, you know, strong communities behind a coin. 
So um, I think that, um, you know, I think Neo, despite the fact that I've, I've called it a little overvalued at this price, it's, you know, value is, is what people are prepared to pay for it and, and people decide the value. So I could certainly be wrong on that. It looks to be finding strong support at $25 mark. We could certainly see it tearing up towards those highs again if the money does flow back into the alts as some people are anticipating. Well, it's like I was saying before, I, I have noticed movement in alts, a lot of alts, so, you know what I mean, starting to take a slow climb upwards, they're moving, whereas they haven't been moving, they've just been heading downwards, or sat still, now they're actually moving and, you know, upwards. Yeah, well, I'm just going to take a, a look and, I mean, it looks pretty solid. I mean, Bitcoin is at 7,400, just a touch shy. And the old coins have come back pretty good. I'm just taking a look at my Bittrex account. And from my lows, I'm a good 10% up, at least, from my, my low point. So it, it looks like it's kicked back nicely. Will there be, you know, will there be another bloodbath before the, before the fork, after the fork? It, no one has crystal balls. And that's why I think, I think at the moment it's good buying in the altcoin market for the right altcoins. And that's why we're, we're taking a look at some of them today. And some people do like to get prepared pre-fork um some people like floyd are probably going to take take back and see what happens and make their decisions after the fork and you know it's uh everyone's going to make different decisions which is what makes this an interesting space and and a market um any others that you guys want to take a look at let's have a look at the chat and see if anyone's are you keeping an eye on the chat agent smith have we got anyone actually looking for anything your mic's off again, Agent Smith. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, someone suggested Syndicate. I was just looking at the website. It's really cool. Um, <laughs> this this is a really cool graphic. I think uh, I don't know anything about Syndicate, so I'm not going to comment about it. But I'm definitely going to take a look at it now. Syndicate is a master node coin that was actually pitched to us in. It was actually pitched to us in the 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 development group uh, in the development group in the Crypto Wave Investment Group. So we got pitched that quite a while ago. Who's, who's talked about that one? Hey, Jow. The Rocket Radio shows in. He, want, he was the one who wants to have a look at it. 21 million clubs here. Oh, all the crew's starting to join in. Yeah, the uh, Rocket Radio show is the one who uh, suggested it on the live chat. Yeah, I think it might have even been Jow. He's just dropped in. I think he might have told me about this rebranding. Um, so Agent Smith is obviously super impressed with the graphics, which is a big tick. <laughs> <laughs> What's it done? It's a big deal. It. I'm going to pull up your uh, I'm going to pull up your screen and present it to everyone because I'm such a tech genius. Here we That's go. a busy one. <laughs> What's it done? What's its highs? Um, Thirty-five cents, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very it's... low market cap coin. Only four million dollars, four and a half million dollars there. So there's plenty of room to grow. What's its? Does anyone actually know its value proposition? Have you looked into it before, Agent Smith? No, I haven't looked into it at all. <laughs> have they got a white paper on there? Do you want to just go back to their website and we'll, we'll see if they've got a white paper? Uh, let's see. I don't see a white paper. This might be it, though. I knew it was a proof yeah. of stake coin. I think the inflation rate was quite high from memory, but I can't. I'm not 100 percent sure on that. Let's see what they got here. 15 million supply up the top there. The specs 15 15.3 million on the uh, top right there. Uh, so it's POW POS. Active so it's five thousand. 5,000 locked in the account, you'll start receiving interest. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so 5,000 for a master note is, is what they're saying there. Uh, 5,000 so, at 20 cents is about well, 30 cents there. Let's call it rough figures. So that's about $1,500 for a master note to start earning your residual income. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it's good to see some more proof of stake coins coming out. Um, $1,500 is not in everyone's budget, but for those people who are interested, the current circulating supply. That's interesting. It says this is a good supply sign. is 15.8, but it says on the website 15.3. So then there must be inflation. We'll have to 
find out what the inflation rates are on the coin. Um, but the only major thing it's on is Bitrix. So, you know, if it gets announced on another exchange, that would be probably some good price action, if I had to guess. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a really good point. I think availability is going to be a, a really important part going into 2018 as wider adoption starts to hit. I think, I think availability has got to be seen as super important and getting yourself listed on as many exchanges as you can. And just a reminder to everyone, that's a great segue to remind you that at the moment, the PIVX uh, have been nominated on the Binance vote. <laughs> I'm fully plugging this. Yeah, we're, we're, we're about 600 votes behind. Uh, Zedcoin, I think. Um, so we need votes. We need 600 of them in the next 12 hours. So anyone who can get over and give a vote to Pivax and help us get listed on the finance exchange, I'll vote you guys. Great. <laughs> okay, plug over. What else are we going to talk about? Sell or hold sinks. Um, well, Rocket Radio Show, as a person that knows absolutely nothing about it, I would definitely say don't sell. Yeah, it's pretty, like the thing is, is when a, a coin's hit that sort of mark, like it's a low market cap like that, there's not, depending on how much you put in, I guess, and that sort of thing. You, you, yeah, unless you got in somewhere under, you know, 20 cents, I, I wouldn't sell it. I, I wouldn't sell it. Yeah, I'd have to look more into the project to actually make a comment on it, but that chart looks, let's have a look at that chart again. I'm just going to bring it up on, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, US dollar value, that looks great. That chart looks really nice. Steadily, steadily well, <laughs> as steady as you can get in the sorts of markets, steady, steady enough growth over the long period. I don't know, it looks like it could, like if you drew a straight line through that, I think 24, 25 cents looks like good buying if it comes back down to those marks and it continues on the path that it's on. But, I mean, just based on that chart and a quick Fishinachi sequence, <laughs> what, what does Smithonomics, Smithonomics say about this, Agent Smith? Uh, Smithonomics, let's see. Okay, so basically I'm putting my hand up to my computer screen right now. That's exactly right. Putting, like <laughs> putting, putting my, my palm at that initial, uh, well, we're at right here at the bottom. Sure, sure, where it's that's not. Where my, yep. So that's where my hand begins, and then my pinky ends right about here where my clicker is. So, you know, it's got a great uptrend. You know, these spikes are kind of ridiculous, but it is the crypto market. So, are they, not really only that, agent, it's a $4 million market cap coin, man. So, it doesn't take a lot to get those sorts of spikes going. Um, it, it hasn't kept up with BTC very well, um, as most altcoins haven't, so that's not really a bad sign. But mm -hmm. uh, overall, it looks like it's on an uptrend, so I don't know anything about the project. But chart-wise, you know, it's <laughs> it could go either way, really. Yeah. I, I, but I, as far as long term, it looks good. I think what you were pointing out there with your um, Smith Smithonomics is that um, it pretty much just cop and copies the Fishinachi sequence and gets you to about 24 cents being good buying based on chart analysis <laughs> alone. So thanks very much again for um, rehashing my ideas, Agent Smith. That's good of you. Oh, anytime. <laughs> All right, mate, let's do it. Let's have a look at Ripple. All righty. <laughs> Didn't think that would take too much arm twisting. XRP for anyone trading Ripple. Uh, yeah, it's taken a it's taken a wander down again. I think historically you're going to find that twenty cents is really really good value. Even though, you know, I'm not I've only got my twenty bucks in, and you know that. And I'm not I'm not going to throw any extreme, but I think, you know, I'll be the one saying, well, shit, I could have had it twenty cents. I think long term it's a it's a solid project, man. We've got the smaller credit union uh, financial institutions are going to be needing a solution like Ripple to keep up with the banks. What are your thoughts there, Agent Smith? Uh, yeah, it's. It as far as its future prospects, I believe in it more than almost any other altcoin. Um, it you know just the use cases. It's already used in banks. It's uh, continuing to get more adoptance to other banks. Um, you know even if speculators like you and I stop trading it, 
maybe the banks will keep trading it. Who knows? But uh, I'm not going to comment on the project. Everyone pretty much knows what it is. It's been it's one of the oldest altcoins um, as well. Uh, it's been in the market for a long time. Uh, but as you can see here in the chart, Bitcoin has just pissed all over it. It's <laughs> it hasn't kept up with Bitcoin at all. Um, no, I think uh, I remember that's, saying. That's, in, I mean, that's uh, like this yeah. week and next week, perhaps. But honestly, I think the um, I think Bitcoin could retrace after this next forking. So, you know, when, when things become relative again to that, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. But I still think long term, man, twenty cents is going to be really good one for Ripple. That's my personal. Yeah. Opinion, even though I'm not a huge, I, I just got other places I'd rather spend my money. That's what I'll say. But Ripple, I think long term, you're going to do very well. Solid project, uh, you know, long time time in crypto. Um, really good tech, actually. Excellent tech. So, and I, I just want to also point out that, you know, this price movement here, it's it goes from like 17 cents to 27 cents. So it's really not, I mean, I guess percentage-wise that is pretty big, but... Uh, the USD value stays relatively pretty flat, um, but Bitcoin has just completely outran it the last couple of days or last couple of weeks. And I remember saying in our live feed um, a couple of weeks ago, 3,500 Satoshis was a great buy. But I mean, look at it right now, 20, <laughs> 2,700 Satoshis. But that's... Yeah, I mean that's it was difficult for me. It was difficult to predict this much of a run up on on Bitcoin though. So it, we we tend to do things relative to Bitcoin price and do it in Satoshi, which I think is probably best because it keeps it relative for an international audience. I mean, at the end of the day, it still it still hasn't taken a monster monster hit against the the US dollar or the euro or whatever you're trading in. Um, yeah, so Floyd, have you had a look at Ripple or any thoughts on that from a newbie's perspective, man? Uh, I have, and to be honest, I've just been waiting for the price to drop. And it's, I don't know if it's going to drop much more, if I'm honest, because the name's being bound around all over the place. So yeah. I'm actually looking at getting in on that now. I think I think Ripple's going to be a great long-term hold. For me, I've got... Well, the name at the minute is, is it's everywhere. It's, yeah. It's, you no, know, it's the explanation for a lot of problems. So, yeah, yeah, they um, look. They took a bit of a hit after that swell conferences. Uh, swell conference when investors got a little bit impatient, but I think that's just given opportunity to people who want to actually get into the Ripple project. I think it's good buying at twenty. Are you wanting to look at OMG because I want to look at Icon. This Icon yeah, coming through was, the chat, and I know it's going to be market, but we've got to uh, look at ICX. I didn't think that's oh, not. Oh, Goodness! Can I just tell you guys something? Yeah. I gotta tell you something. I, oh, can I tell you this? Yes, I can. Go ahead. You know that our investment crew is in this, don't you, Agent Smith and, and Floyd? Oh yeah. yeah. At that price, collectively, we'll make half a million dollars. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Not bad, for a, not bad for a second month of a crypto wave investment crew. <laughs> I mean, look at this trend though. Like, that's crazy. Man, it's, it's been dubbed the career in Ethereum. It's a solid project. Like I said, they have done so much more work than most companies that just come to market with a white paper and go pay us money. This is real business. And I know you're a fan of that agency. So. Yeah, it hasn't had any trouble keeping up with BTC either. Like, look at that. That's, that's crazy. It's uh, it's 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 running with BTC, and I mean, I've got to tell you that honestly, I think those dollar forty prices are going to be laughable. I honestly think this is a three dollar coin in the not too, at least between two and three dollars in the not too distant future. They have done a lot of work pre pre ICO. They've got a lot of real world business connections, and for me, it just seems that when you're getting these crazy valuations on essentially nothing more than a white paper, this is a real business. So um, I got my approval through. I have been approved for KYC and Agent Smith, no, I didn't send that photo that I was going to. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been approved for that. And I think they're a great team, a great project. They're certainly taking their, uh, making sure they're dotting the I's and crossing the T's with all the KYC stuff. 
Um, I, there's a there's about seven or eight of our investment crew who are in on this for substantial amounts. Unfortunately, at the time, I wasn't super cashed up, so I I, I only have one ether in it. But man, when you've taken one ether and I got twenty five thousand, oh no, sorry, two thousand five hundred. Uh, 2,500 icon for my one ether, and the price is trading at what was it? A dollar forty almost. Goodness gracious me! That's pretty good gains. You can't argue with. Oh, it's it's a quality project, man. Just the amount of work they've done pre ICO. That's the thing. All these ICO projects are pretty much crowdfunding to do the work that these guys have already done, and uh, I think they've got a massive future. Um, Agent Smith is just having a look at a few of the few features there, and as you can see, it's qual got quality features. It's built from scratch. The first Korean blockchain to be built, built from scratch. I think it's Koreans are massive in this market. Have a look what they've done to Bitcoin Cash in recent times with the trade volumes there. Have a look what they did to Ethereum and pumped it up to four hundred dollars a coin. That was Korean One that did that. M majority of it, anyway. It was pretty high Korean One trade volumes coming in. So I think when you've got a a country like Korea that is, regardless of whether the government's been a little bit conservative with their ICO approach, when you've got a, a, a crypto-crazed country like Korea uh, that's got their own blockchain from scratch, the, the ability to develop the app applications on this, and also they're linked with universities, banks, you name it in Korea, they're linked with them. I think this is going to be an absolute giant. I honestly think it'll beat NEO. There you go. Calling it now. Let's hope so. <laughs> Certainly for the investment crew, if we can even hold that yeah. price that we're holding now, half a million dollars between, like collectively. And the beautiful thing is I said collectively, so the tax agent, tax man doesn't know who I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I just, I just disclosed my bloody, you know, that wasn't too clever. I, I'll sell it at 2X, I promise, tax department. Um, <laughs> no, I'm being cheeky. Now. Is there any others coming up? <laughs> Any others coming up in the chat that people want to? Um, Bitcoin reached twenty five US dollars today. Said the twenty one million club. That's interesting. I heard that was another airdrop or a one to one airdrop that was coming through. Bob Derps. I'm not sure I've seen Bob Derps in here before. Welcome, man. I put in two ether on hit BTC, and I can get about eighteen ether, but it's an IOU on Coin Market Cap. Just remember that. Yeah, it is an IOU, and that's a good point that Bob's. Derp's made up, but I still think that futures markets are relative. I, I still think they give a, a reasonable indication of um, of what people expect it to trade for. Your thoughts on futures markets, Agent Smith? Um, it's it's interesting. It's uh it's just another step closer to major money coming into the market, man. And and it's one thing after another that you you know we just had the news about that. Uh, what was the investment group? that you have to have, like, what, $5 million or something to get into it? Uh, Palm Beach. Oh, oh no, the um, Ledger X. Yeah, Ledger X. Like, we, we heard about Ledger X. That was great news. Now we're uh, getting uh, futures trading, which is – it's uh, it's just one step closer, man. Uh, I just hope it doesn't come too quick because I want to get more into the game before the big money starts because – if you think about it, I was telling my friend this earlier. Um, the Wall Street guys, they're not going to get into a market to lose money, which means if you get in before the Wall Street guys, chances are you're going to make some great money because once these guys get in there with their with large amounts of money, the prices will go up, and uh, yeah, you know that's why it's important to pick the long term. Uh, long-term holdings because you know the once once the real money starts flowing into this market we're going to look back at these prices and laugh because it's it's really nothing in the whole in the grand scheme of things when you look at the value of the new york stock exchange just by itself it's monumental in size compared to bitcoin's market cap oh absolutely the, the whole, and it's it's going to be it's going to be huge i, I really believe that yeah, the, the entire crypto economy's market cap is laughable to major financial institutions and traditional avenues of investing. Hey, mate, I just wanted to go through a couple of comments here. Um, Seb Fox has brought up something really interesting, and I just thought it's best to give people a, 
you know, I can only classify this as a rumor, but it is a warning. Um, Seb Fox said, I missed the Icon ICO, but I was looking at buying it at 15 cents on HitBTC a while ago, but was put off by really bad reviews of HitBTC, people saying that they got their money stolen. So I just wanted to put that, um, just wanted to put that shout out out there that Seb Fox had heard some rumors. So um, I, I haven't had a go on hit BTC myself. Have you, have you either of uh, yourself, Agent Smith or Floyd traded on hit BTC? Well, probably not Floyd, bang it's No. Yeah. Agent, Agent Smith, you had a go there? Um, I, I think I have an account here, <laughs> but I've never <laughs> used it. You're as, bad, you're as bad as Crypto Chronicus. He comes in and goes, oh, I don't even know which ICOs I invested in. I'm like, Man, there's just so many different things, and <laughs> I, 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 I'm the fam this looks familiar, but uh, and I've never used it, so I can't really comment. <laughs> this looks familiar. My goodness, All right. <laughs> let's move on from that. But let's just put that out as a rumor and a little bit of a warning. One of the ones that got brought up by the people in the chat is NEM, N E M, one of the higher market cap coins brought up by the Rocket Radio show. Um. I like it, man. I, I like NEM as a long-term project, and it's one of those sleeping giants for me. It's sort of really going under the radar. Not a lot to talk about it, but the technology is fantastic. Um, it does have a harvesting feature, making it a proof of, or a residual income coin anyway. Have you had a look at it at all, Agent Smith? Uh, no, I've never looked at it. It's been one of the ones that I've wanted to, um, just because this you see the Bitcoin trend right here going down. It's uh, it, it's definitely, it, chart-wise, it looks like it's ready to go up, but it's, uh, it's one I've been looking to actually research because it is in the top 10, but I, I don't know anything about it. Yeah, well, when I first got into it, one of, one of the things that actually I liked about it is it didn't seem to have a lot of marketing. And when I looked at the website, if you, can you just click on the, the link to the website? I haven't seen it in a few months, but it looked, it was, when I first looked at it, it seemed, I'm just going to bring it up here. Yeah, that changed it completely. Okay. When honestly, when I first looked at it, it looked like something that had been designed by a first year, um, first year a design student. It certainly looks to have been upgraded since then. Um, but that was one of the things that kind of appealed to me. It's like, you know what, this is going under the radar because it hasn't got great marketing. The website's kind of elementary and yet it is really clever and really good um really good tech um i can't remember exactly the features that i was really keen on apart from the harvesting feature which is essentially the the uh, residual income feature of nem but um I, I remember being very very impressed with it and i still hold a little bit actually and it's one that i would con certainly consider putting some more into so it's one i might start looking at again because i really do believe it's going under the radar at the moment Yeah, so an interesting project there with uh, Nem. I'm just sorry, just catching up with the live chat. Uh, Rocket Radio Show is just giving a bit of extra information because he is well researched on Nem. Nem obviously he says Nem is Jap Japan legal tender. Nem is used by Dimcoin. Nem has spent zero on marketing. Exactly. Yeah, I, 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 well, I didn't know a couple of those things, but I did know that their marketing was pretty small. It was sort of like we. We've got good enough technology, and people are going to find us. But they—I mean—they've obviously done extra, exceptionally well. Um, I'm just trying to catch up with the amount of information that's coming in from Rocket Radio Show. It's obviously, Rocket Radio Show, you over on our Discord group, man. You're welcome to um, come over and chat with us over there. What I might do is I'm just going to quickly pop the Discord invite into our chat, um, and if you want to come and chat with us about them over there, you're welcome to, man. Um, we haven't had a whole lot of chat about it in our group, so it'd be good to get some info of someone who's clearly well researched, like you. And if you'd like to come on and do a show one time, we can we can certainly take a look at them if it's something that you've researched heavily. So I've just popped the link for the Discord in there. Um, Nem is launching Catapult in December. I don't know what that is, but fantastic. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's uh, that's something we might have a look at a bit closer look at in the future. Um, I did get first share. I just beat you out to the Discord link, Agent Smith. I think that's a historical first, um, proving that my own transaction speed has been scaled to suit the technology I'm now working with. 
Um, your mic is muted again, Agent Smith. And I swear it's not me just keeping you out of the show. Agent Smith, he's gone. All right, I'm going to take over. Um, uh, our glass said it's going to get a thousand bucks worth of um, I ICX as soon as possible. Well, it won't be mine because I ain't selling. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so that ICX is a good project. NAM will close up on. Um, actually, guys, that's about an hour. What we might do is wrap it up there. I do just want to wrap it up with one final plea and one final request that anyone who is a fan of Pivx or you know just wants to check out the Binance trading platform, please feel free to use my link or Agent Smith's link. He's got one over at um, our Discord group as well. Um, and just join up to Binance. And if you do buy Binance coin to reduce your trading fees, you'll also be able to have a vote in the community vote, which does end in the next 12 hours. Get your vote in for, you know, a really solid coin, like Pivx perhaps. But, you know, make your own decisions. Agent Smith, did you want to say anything before we go? Since your microphone's muted, I'm kind of teasing you. But did you want to say anything before we go? Uh, uh, yeah, well said. Thank you, Agent Smith. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> he was so cheeky. Well, he, well, it's been a pleasure having a chat with you, man. Um, uh, it's good to, good to have a newbie on the show and get a new perspective in the space. Well, I call you a newbie. Two months is uh, certainly not. It's almost veteran status in this, this economy. So it's great to have you on and get your opinion, man, um, and, and really nice to meet you. Thanks for coming on today. Yeah, no problem. Cool. Well, I'll catch up with you both over cool. at Discord and to the rest of the crypto yeah. investment crew. We'll see you over at the Discord for some more crypto discussion. To the rest of you, we are on every day from 11 a.m., Australian Eastern Standard Time. I'll try and keep Agent Smith off the show as much as possible, but I'll certainly have Floyd back for another chat. Um, cheers, guys. Good yeah. to see you. And uh, <laughs> catch you all tomorrow for another show. See you then. Bye. And Bye.